വെൽക്കം ബാക്ക് ടു മൈ ചാനൽ ഏവർക്കും എന്റെ ചാനലിലേക്ക് സ്വാഗതം So today, as usual, we will be continuing the MCQs. Uh, MCQs of nuclear medicine will be discussed for today's session. For the couple of the sessions, I will be including the topics from uh, nuclear medicine followed by I will be including MCQs of ultrasonography. Since many of the licensing exams have included the syllabus of nuclear medicine as well as ultrasonography. As per the request of many of the viewers, I have started up MCQs of nuclear medicine and ultrasonography. Yet another important thing I have to share with all my viewers is that I have started a few of the WhatsApp group for radiographers. The first group is for radiographers or the radiotherapy coaching will be having in one group. The second group is for uh, NHS interview special. This is a very special group. We will be discussing the NHS interview questions and we will be arranging you mock trial, uh, mock interviews. Uh, then uh, the third group is related with UK registration that is HCPG registration. Many of them are still making many of the mistakes. All these mistakes and all those things will be clarified in this group. Next comes the Koru that is Ireland registration as well as CMRT that is Canadian Association or the Canadian Certification Group. Uh, all these groups are running or free of course so you can join any of these groups and those who wish to join any of these groups can just WhatsApp me. I'll be giving my WhatsApp number as well as my email address in my description box you can just whatsapp me and i will be adding to these groups and if you have any queries you can just ask in the group and we will be clarifying all your doubts we means i am not only me my friends are also very much dedicated to these groups along with that if you need any of the study material of gcc exam you can just whatsapp me or mail me so that i'll be uh, forwarding the study material uh, make sure that or uh, you belongs to the radiographer community since all these groups are meant for radiographers so patiently watch till the end and stay tuned Let's begin the part 2 tutoring of nuclear medicine. Moving on to the 11th question. What does the P in spec stand for? Option A positron, option B proton, option C proton and option D is P orbital. The answer is option B photon. So let's see the explanation. The PET stands for single emission photon computer tomography. In this process the radioactive dyes give out photon which are detected by the detector and form an image. The photon detector usually has photomultiplied tubes that is PMTs that can amplify the received impulses from the photon and form an image. Moving on to the next question, question number 12. SPECT includes a dash for imaging. Option A, gamma camera. Option B, silver halide film. Option C, phosphorus sheet. And option D is lead sheet. The answer is option A, gamma camera. So let's see the explanation. A gamma camera had detectors made of PMTs, that is photomultiplied tubes, to help form an image. Since PECT, PECT means positron emission tomography, produces two photons or gamma rays, Correlation of the image formed at the two ends is used to form a proper image. However, SPECT that is single photon emission computer tomography produces only one photon. So, it, if they need to be collected properly to form an image. Thus, a gamma camera, a camera specifying in capturing images by taking the impulses from the photon is used in SPECT. Moving on to the next question, question number 13. The detector of PET is made of PET means positron emission tomography. Option A, silver. Option B, gadolinium. Option C, tungsten. Option D is lead. The answer is option B, gadolinium. So let's see the explanation. Bismuth germate oxide 
ഗഡോലിനിയം ഓക്സി ഓർത്തോസിലിക്കേറ്റ് ഓർ ലൂക്കിയം ഓക്സി ഓർത്തോസിലിക്കേറ്റ് ഡിറ്റക്ടേഴ്സ് ആർ ത്രീ മെറ്റീരിയൽസ് ദാറ്റ് ആർ യൂസ് ടു ഫോം ദ ഡിറ്റക്ടേഴ്സ് ഫോർ പെറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് പോസിഡ്രോൺ എമിഷൻ ടോമോഗ്രഫി ദ ക്യാൻ റെക്കോർഡ് ഇമ്പൾസസ് ഫ്രം ദി ഗാമ റേസ് ആൻഡ് കൺവേർട്ട് ദം ഇൻ ടു ഇലക്ട്രിക്കൽ സിഗ്നൽ ദാറ്റ് ആർ ഫൈനലി പ്രോസസ് ടു ഫോം ഇമേജസ് Moving on to the next patient, question number 14. What makes PET and SPECT so unique when it comes to nuclear imaging? Option A, do not require dyes. Option B, do not require x-rays. Option C, they show the metabolic functions. Option D, they give more detail about the or imaged organ or the tissue. Or the answer is option C. They show the metabolic function. So let's see the explanation. The dyes used in PET and SPECT are used that they become a part of the metabolic pathway and the transmitted radiation can help visualize the metabolic pathway. The machine that does the same work as PET and SPECT that is visualizing the metabolic pathways as in the case of functional MRI. Moving on to the next question, question number 15. The detector efficiency is expressed in option A. Efficiency is equal to number of photons detected into number of photons emitted. Option B. The efficiency is equal to number of photons detected divided by number of photons emitted. Option C. The efficiency is equal to square root of number of photons detected divided by the square root of number of photons detected. Option D is the efficiency is equal to number of photons emitted divided by number of photons detected. The answer is option B. The efficiency is equal to number of photons detected divided by number of photons emitted. So let's see the explanation. Efficiency of a detector is the ratio of the number of counts recorded by the detector to the number of gamma rays emitted by the source in all direction. So moving on to the next question, question number 16. Radio iodine is used for option A, liver scanning, option B, bone scanning, option C, thyroid scanning and option D is lung scanning. The answer is option C, thyroid scanning. So let's see the explanation. Radio iodine therapy is a nuclear medicine treatment. Doctors used it to treat an overactive thyroid, a condition called hypothyroidism. They are also used to treat the thyroid cancer. Moving on to the next question. Question number 17. Sodium iodide crystals are coupled with option A. PHA. PHA means Pulse Height Analyzer. Option B. SCA. SCA means Scintillation Camera Analyzer. Option C. ADC. Analog to Digital Converter. And option D is PMT. That is Photo Multiply Tube. The answer is option D. PMT. That is Photo Multiply Tube. So let's see the explanation. Crystals of sodium iodide thallium coupled to photo multiply tube have exhibited excellent energy resolution of less than 7 percentage at 662 keV that is kilo electron volt suitable to be used as radiation detectors in gamma ray application moving on to the next question question number 18 PET scanners detect option A positron of the same energy in coincidence option B positron and electrons in coincidence option C photon of different energy in coincidence and option D is annihilation photons in coincidence so let's see the answer the answer is option D annihilation photons in coincidence so let's see the explanation Annihilation photons occurs in pairs traveling in opposite direction. Detection of two 511 kilo electron volt photons in coincidence suggests an annihilation occurs somewhere on the line of response between the two detectors involved. And line of response connects any pair of opposing detectors that are linked with coincident electronics so in fact the annihilation photons are occurring in 
pairs which is traveling in opposite direction and these two photons will be having an equal energy of about 511 kilo electron volt moving on to the next question number 19 why crystal and photo multiply tube are coupled together option a to reduce patient dose option b to reduce geometric and sharpness option c to decrease artifact option d to improve light transmittance the answer is option d to improve light transmittance so let's see the explanation scintillation detectors with demountable pmt that is photo multiply tube the demountable designs are scintillation photo multiply tube combination that allows the removal of the photo multiply tube or tubes without disturbing the scintillation hermetic package question number 20 positron annihilation produces two photons of energy option a 104 kv option b 232 kv option c 511 kv and option d is 1022 kv the answer is option C, 511 kV. So, let's see the explanation. Electron-positron annihilation occurs when an electron and a positron, that is the electron and particle collide, that is at low energy. The result of the collision is an annihilation of an electron and positron and the creation of an energetic photon. So, let's see. That is the electron plus positron gives out two gamma rays of energy that is the two photons of energy phi double one kv both is having equal energy hope you all are happy with today's session in the session all our minds like the wishes you know uh before winding up i have a few things to share with all my viewers Kindly watch all my NHS, uh, means HCPC registration or the UK registration, all those videos I have prepared. Patiently watch all these videos since many of them are still making many of the mistakes. I have explained everything in detail and everything is very pakka and clear. Uh, you won't be having any queries. If you are having further queries, you are feel free to contact me personally. I am very friendly person and you can approach me. I am very uh, friendly and I am very glad to help each and every one of you. As I said before, all those groups are free of cost. You can join any of these groups. You can ask for the queries. And the first and the most important thing and another thing to share all to my viewers is that all the agencies are providing free recruitment to United Kingdom. And you might be suspecting whether these agencies are doing something for free. The thing is that when the agency is providing one candidate to the NHS Trust, the NHS Trust will be paying this agency. So you have to spend only around 80,000 to the HCPC. It is you are paying for HCPC for getting your registration once you have submitted all your documents which all are the documents and what all things have to be attested. Everything I have done, videos and all those videos are there in my YouTube, in this YouTube channel. You show that patience to watch all those videos very patiently. Once you have watched, you will get an idea which all documents is needed, how to fill up the HCPC registration form, how to prepare the course information form and how to get the English declaration form from your institution, its format, everything I have given. So once you have submitted all these documents in clear cut, you will be getting the HCPC registration. At that time, you have to pay some fees to HCPC. It will be around 80,000. Once you have got your HCPC registration, you can attend the NHS interview that you can apply through tracks or you can contact any free recruitment agencies, the agencies which you are providing free recruitment. Make sure that you have to contact such agencies. If you are joining in our groups, you will be getting 
some of the free recruitment agencies uh, details will be shared in the group so you can contact those persons or those agencies and they will be arranging you interviews one you have once you have qualified these interview they will be providing you two tire sponsorship with this sponsorship you can fly to uk without spending any other money to the agencies May, it is clear that the agency is getting money from the nhs trust so why should you spend extra money to some agencies without any reason it is a time for you all to think whether we have to give such monies or whether we have to promote such agencies or not with that i am winding up today's session until then stay safe stay healthy and make sure that i'll be uploading videos on all sundays so wait till next sunday for the new upload of the new videos and always i say and request one thing before i'm winding up if you are happy with my channel make sure that share with your friends colleagues and please do support me by subscribing and enabling the bell icon so that you will receive the notifications of all the videos i'm uploading with that i am coming to the end and stay tuned.